On Sunday, it's the game of the weekend. Top of the table, Arsenal facing what? Ninth place, Liverpool? Let's start with the Gunners. 3-1 victory over Spurs, Party, Jesus, Xhaka, all with goals in that game. They've had a better XG than their opponent in every match they played this season thus far. So this isn't a fluke. This team is absolutely legit. Three consecutive wins since uh, falling to Manchester United. They've gone over the total of two and a half kids. Listen to this. Seven out of seven. Both teams have scored in five of six, and they've been the first to score four of five. Still some injuries. Smith Rowe, Elneny, Cedric all out. They do play Rangers Tuesday, which is probably a little bit beneficial. Uh, or sorry, that's Liverpool who plays um, Arsenal on Tuesday. I'll, I'll get to them in a moment. Um, as for Liverpool... They play Rangers on Tuesday. We're just in uh, three, three. They played to Brighton another disappointing draw. They only dropped 22 points last season, just had two losses. So their form thus far this season, it's, it's been alarming. Although Roberto Firmino has been a very nice story, despite Mo Salah not scoring. Firmino has five goals already. Liverpool, no clean sheet in their last three. They've gone over the two and a half goal total in six of seven. Both teams to score in four or five. Kata Robertson is he's still a doubt. Um, and um Liverpool just haven't won away this season. So their away form is what is really in question, even though they still do have the third best expected goal differential. Head to head, Liverpool dominated Arsenal. Let's be honest, over the last two seasons, no losses in their last five games. They haven't conceded a goal to Arsenal in the last six times they played. And Liverpool have been the first to score in four of five. And they won this fixture. Liverpool did last season. 2-0 was the final at the Emirates. It's even, Stephen, in terms of the odds here. Plus 164 for an Arsenal win. Plus 164 currently at Pinnacle for a Liverpool win. The total set at three. Plus 103 for the over. Minus 113 for the under. So what's the play here? Are you buying Arsenal to continue this going after a big win over Spurs on the weekend? Or do Liverpool kind of revert back to the old Liverpool we're accustomed to seeing in a critical game, really, for their Premier League ambitions this season? Yeah, I got to say I'm on the side of Arsenal this week. Um, I think the price is fair. I think the the, basically we've got it as a pick them, haven't we? Um, And I I think that's a great opportunity to get Arsenal plus no on the Asian handicap on side uh, backable price. You're getting minus 104. As I've said last week, Arsenal are one of the best, well, third, they are the third best home team in the Premier League. The underlying metrics they've put up on over a long period of time are simply sensational. The last 23 home games, they've averaged 2.3 expected goals for per game or 1.0 expected goals against per game. So they are, you know, on a general supremacy basis, game to game, they are very, very good. Um, and the Emirates has become a fortress. Uh, I was a little bit hesitant to back them against Spurs last week, um, just because I think Spurs are in a uh, were in a, a decent place. Liverpool are not in a decent place um, this heading into this game. You know, attack attacking problem. There's no attacking problems. They they're creating chances. They're scoring goals. Mm-hmm. Defensively, they are an absolute calamity at the moment. They are really easy to play against, um, and against the better teams, which Arsenal obviously are. I think they'll get absolutely exposed. Um, I look at these sort of matchups, and you've got Arsenal's front front line of, of Jesus, Saka, Martinelli, and Odegaard. That's an absolute, you know, it's a disaster waiting to happen for Liverpool. The way in which Liverpool want to play, um, I think Martinelli will have a field day against Trent. I think he did, if you remember, uh, at the Emirates last season. Liverpool actually won the game two 0 but Martinelli ran Trent ragged in that game. Um, and then I look at on the flip side, and, and you've got a really, really strong looking Arsenal backline with, um, you know, White, uh, uh, is it Saliba, Gabriel, uh, and Tierney if he's fit. If not, then Zinchenko plays. That That's good enough to me to, to halt what Liverpool can do from a creative standpoint. And, and then I actually think that the this game will be won and lost in the midfield because. I'm looking at on paper, I think Arsenal's midfield is better than Liverpool's midfield at this moment in time. I would take at the if if he's wow. fit, par, party, Xhaka and Odegaard um over what Liverpool are putting out at the moment. Because they just look well off it. They look off the pace. Fabinho hasn't shown up this season. 
Um, Thiago has been in and out with injuries. Henderson, the same, has been in and out with injuries. Harvey Elliott has had some nice moments, but he's not really been consistent. Uh, you said there, Kate is out injured. Uh, Arthur Mello is still trying to find some sort of fitness. Um, and and I, I honestly think that this, this Arsenal team is at a level that can really compete now with Liverpool um, after the additions made in the summer. So, yeah, I, I think... I'm not saying Arsenal will win the league. I think they're still way off the level of Manchester City, but they've closed the gap on Liverpool, which was half the job effectively. Um, and, you know, I, I really do think this is a good opportunity for Arsenal to make a real statement of intent. If they beat Liverpool, so just, just this is all obviously pie in the sky, but if they beat Liverpool and Man City fail to beat Liverpool next week, then it starts to become a serious rumbling of, right, Arsenal are going to win the league. Um I think that they'll get. I think they'll get a result at the very least here, um, and and I think they are worth backing uh, with the plus null Asian handicap to to do so. Um, yeah, home the home. I, I just think Emirates. The Emirates has become a real fortress. It's a really difficult place to go. Um, Arteta has proven his worth, and Liverpool have issues. And um, you know, we look at the midweek European exploits. That's the only sort of question mark for me. Arsenal play on Thursday against Bodo Glimt. They're not two teams, by the way. They are. It's just one team. Um, <laughs> They, they, I think Arteta has to rotate for that game with this in mind. Um, if he doesn't, then I would be definitely slamming the brakes on this Arsenal selection. Um, but, you know, the same token, Liverpool, they, they need to win their Tuesday night game on the Champions League as well. So they'll be going fairly strong. More reasons, I, I think, to, to get Arsenal on side. And I see you grinning. I, I think, are you going to disagree with me? I am. I'm, this is my best bet of the weekend, by the way. Well, first of all, it's over the three goal total. I knew that was coming. Plus one hundred three. Yeah, uh, I've, it, I've got it, that down a no as a secondary bet myself as well. This is this is this is my this is my bet of the weekend. Liverpool still has the second best xG overall in the league, and they played a game less than most of the teams. Sixteen point nine in seven games. They create chances. You know, it, it was very odd for me that Jurgen Klopp didn't play Diaz or Nunez from the start. Jota has been a, per per a peripheral figure. I think they can really test this Arsenal back line. And what are they really tested? When Arsenal commit numbers forward and they leave themselves exposed and open in the back. And Liverpool has shown over recent years that they are the best counter-attacking side when some pressure is put on them. And it's not very often, but when it is, um, they can absolutely make you pay. I love over the total here. Arsenal has been over in every game. Liverpool in six of seven. But they just score goals. So I will take over the total. My secondary play, Liverpool to win this game at plus 164 all day. Spin it back a month, Jake. What would the what have this what would this have line looked like? Liverpool closer to even money here at plus 164. I think this game has market correction written all over it. You talk about true challenges. For Arsenal, it's not Spurs. I I haven't never had Spurs in my top four coming into this season. It's beating a side like Liverpool that's owned them in recent vintage at home in a fixture that now Arsenal, the way that you're spinning it, and a lot of people are, they should actually be considered favorites in this game. I don't think they are. I think the market's got it wrong here. I favor Liverpool in this game at what plus 164. I'm taking that to the bank. Yep. Brave man. Um, I, I just I just can't trust them at the minute, Liverpool. The, the brave. Defense... Think about what you're saying here. It's brave to back Liverpool against Arsenal. Just think that's, about that. That's what it's come to. Um, I you know, as much as we might not like to say it, this Arsenal team are they're very much they've they've closed the gap. I I'll tell you this. I think this the, the prices we're getting. If it was a neutral venue, then we'd obviously I think Liverpool would probably go off around thirteen to ten um to to win this game but because we're getting arsenal at home you've got to pick them i actually think that arsenal should be favorites at home because i think the gap between the two is tighter than what these current odds are suggesting wow. um I, I honestly do i think that they've closed the gap liverpool you know we we, we still think that they're finding their feet we still think they'll improve but the way in which they're going about their business right now i mean away from home They've shipped 1.5 expected goals against per game away from home. They've played against Fulham, Manchester United and Everton. They're, like two, The two teams there, Fulham and Everton, we would not be expecting them to cause Liverpool that many problems. Uh, and they have done. And that to me is the main thing. Garvey's a little bit of a, 
you know, it's a little bit of an, an, an anomaly when those games play. I, I understand what you're saying here. And Fulham's been better than advertised as well. First game of the season. Um, I, I, I'm willing to, I understand what you're saying here. I just, I will back Liverpool against Arsenal all day, every day. If you're giving me odds like this, I just, I can't get past the point where, you know, I do not believe that Arsenal's a better side than Liverpool. I just do not. And so I'm working off that premise. And so I'm going to be heavily invested in this game. I can't wait for it. It should be, should be brilliant because a lot is on the line for both teams here, but I'll be heavily invested in goals and Liverpool in this game, Jake. So I definitely agree with you on the goals total. Um, I've got over three down as, a, as my secondary play as well. I just think the, the defensive vulnerability of Liverpool, it could mean that we see an all-out attack kind of will score more than you mindset, but just purely because they know they can't defend um, and that the chance of them keeping clean sheet is, is very, very minimal. So I think that plays into the overs for sure. I honestly, I just think this Arsenal team, they, you know, I, I think you're right. A month ago, we probably would, you wouldn't have this, this is Pickham, you'd probably have Liverpool's slight favourites, but I do think the dial's moved. I think, um, I do think Liverpool, they, they have, they've not improved to the point that, that we expected them to. Um, and Arsenal have continued to show that level of, uh, that really consistent, goodly good level. As you said, they've won the XG total in all of their Premier League matches. I mean, the only other team to do that is Manchester City. So that kind of shows you what kind of level that they're currently at. And there have been some tough games in there. You know, Brentford away, for example, that's not an easy game. They went there last season, got beat 2-0. They've, they've come through that test. Crystal Palace away, they've come through that test with flying colours. This is this is a big test, but I, I just think that this is a re- this is it's a nice time to play Liverpool. I think if this game was maybe two months down the line, just before the World Cup break, or maybe just slightly after the World Cup break, I think that I would be looking the other way because I think Liverpool will have found their mojo. They will have got things back up and running. But they, this is a vulnerable, this is a vulnerable Liverpool team that we're seeing right now. And to be honest, I think any team will be looking licking their lips at, at playing Liverpool. I, I, don't, I think the fear factor has gone for some uh, reason this this season. I think that, that many teams will go to Anfield just like Brighton did and, and, and believe they can get a result. And when they welcome Liverpool, I think the, the same thing will happen. I mean, you know, they, they've been they've been really disappointing for quite a lot of matches at Liverpool and. Um, across all competitions as well, you know, Napoli I made them look very average and ordinary in the Champions League, didn't they? So, you know, I, I, I just think this is a really good time to play Liverpool. Wow. Um, lastly on this, Liverpool have to win this game. Arsenal don't have to win this game. Liverpool do. Um, I, I'm adding that to my context. I can't wait. Bring on Sunday already.